Nobody is going to mess with the pride, with he who breathes fire as the guardian. He must be 180 kilograms and as big as a lion gets. Yeah, Ane Pumuamoto looks to be five years old and in his prime. And that's his job to guard the lionesses anywhere from two to 20, plus his cubs, from danger. Of the 36 species of wildcat, lions are the only ones that live in a big social group. A big old family. Uh, then where's he going? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah! Woohoo! He's going on patrol! Every few nights or so, he'll patrol the pride's territory to make sure there is no intruder, like other lions around. He doesn't wait for trouble to come, he goes out to stop it. Yeah, but what if trouble finds the pride while he's gone? Well, the lioness are tough, but if trouble shows up that they really need help with, like a really big clan of hyenas or other male lions, the lioness will call for the lion, and he'll come charging back. Saving the pride with the lion powers. Uh, where's he going? Are you kidding? When a lion of a pride trots off to survey the territory, what do you think we do? Have a catnap in the Cretera? No way! We're going on lion patrol! Naturally. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Marking its territory. Weird how a lion pees backwards. Male dogs lift legs, male cats spray backwards. Hey, while we track him, let's map his territory. Yes, because this termite mound is like a signpost on the edge of his territory. And his pee is like a message to other lions that says, Keep out. Trespassers will be attacked and maimed and in other ways have a very bad day. Uh, something like that. Engaging Map Actuator. While we track him, let's charge his territory, and we'll end up with a map of a Pumuamoto kingdom. <gasps> Looks like he's on the prowl. Let's move. They are so cute. Hey, you want to do something a little different today? Sure. This time, why don't we name all the lion cubs? Yeah, why not? And we'll surprise Martin when he gets back. I'll name him Lil Cubby. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's El Cutissimo. Wow, he really is the king of beasts. Wow, we've traveled so far so fast. Yeah, a lion on patrol can cover 64 kilometers in a single night. In just an hour, we're already eight kilometers away on the far reach of the Pride's territory. Okay, now go easy, easy. Oh, we're just an ordinary hippo. Don't worry, Martin. I built this hippo sub pretty tough. It's basically indestructible. What? Even for a 4,500 kilogram creature with one meter razor sharp tusks? Hmm, maybe. So let's just find the disc quickly then. Okay, we gotta ease right into the herd. It's mostly females and their calves. But then there's the bull. He's the most aggressive of all making sure everyone knows that this is his stretch of river. Well, you just tell him that his stretch of river has my disc. You can tell him that. I'm just gonna make sure he's not around. Chris, come in. Any sign of Tusker? Yeah, you're clear. He's right here on the beach. He's busy making sure that even the crocodiles know that he rules this part of the river. But hurry, he can't stay out of the water long. He'll overheat. They need that river to keep cool during the day. Okay, Aviva, let's make our move before Tusker gets back. Hip hippo, hooray, we're going in. <laughs> they just hip hop along the bottom of the river like astronauts walking on the moon. Aw, that's why I love hippos. That little guy is so cute. I'll name him Hipster 
Apotamus. First name hipster, last name Apotamus. <laughs> Look at him go. Hippity hop, hippity hop. Oh, hi, little hipster. <gasps> hipster, look out! Crocodile! I thought hippos ruled the river. Yeah, but crocs will grab a calf if they get a chance. Mama Apotamus to the rescue! Whew, that was close. Where's Hipster? There! What's he doing? The disc! Hipster found the disc! Oh, yeah! Let's go! <gasps> oh, no! He's heading back! Mayday! 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 Whoa! Yuck! What's with this slimy rock? Hey, you're not a rock! You're a hippo! So that means this is not slime, it's natural hippo sunscreen. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I wish our skin made a natural sunscreen like yours does. Whoa! Ugh. Gotta go! Gotta keep my eye on Tusker. If he finds that hippo sub in this river, there could be trouble. <gasps> and there's the trouble. Martin, Aviva, come in! That's it. Try to get past that big beastie varmint. Oh, and we may just be too busy to help if they get in a jam. <laughs> we should really remember to finish cross-country inlining before the sun rises. Yeah, look! All the smart creatures are heading to the shade. Just consider it another thing you learned from the animals. Yeah, and there is one good thing about getting overheated in Africa. It gives you a good reason to cool off in... <laughs> a mud wallow! What are we waiting for? Last one in is a waddled bellbird. <gasps> huh? Uh, I guess we'll have to find another mud wallow. Are you kidding? This wallow's where it's at. Look! A rarely seen wildlife moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going anywhere. They both want to go into the mud to cool off. But there's only room enough for one. Whoever's the most powerful wins. Who do you think is more powerful, a rhino or an elephant? That's like asking me who has a fuzzier cottontail, a bunny or a rattlesnake. Of course the elephant's more powerful. No way! The rhino wins this face off, horns down. An elephant weighs more, two tons more. A rhino can run with a charge of 50 kilometers per hour. An elephant can't even run, only walk fast. Oh! Oh! Yeah, but he's got a fast walk with a lot of weight behind it. Plus, an elephant is so strong, he even has 100,000 muscles in his trunk. <laughs> I get rid of all their mud. That'll really mess them up. <laughs> The big gray things will get all dried up, and Chris and Martin will have no fun. I bet I sure ruin their day. <gasps> Jackpot, stop! No, not you. The plane. Stop the plane. I've got to see this. Spy cloud. Whoa, what was that? A dust devil or... <gasps> the mud's gone. Doesn't matter. They each found their own mud wallow. And you know, whatever it was, it really cooled me off. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, they make me so mad. I want to flip. Huh? I'm the world's greatest inventor. Not a pancake. 
stop it! Jackpot! <laughs> Find out what they're up to. Wait! Termites! Activate termite power! Termites, here I come! Woohoo! Hey guys, ready for another worker in the colony? Okay, I get it. There are already millions of you. But have you seen two girls that smell strangely like savanna grass? Hmm, guess not. Did Aviva add a new feature to this suit? Whoa, my antenna are picking up a termite pheromone. Ah, there it is. A pathway of chemical pheromones that shows all the termites the way back to the nest. Okay, termite pals, let's ride this pheromone highway straight to your nest. And hopefully, Aviva and Koki are there. Oh yeah, this is the way to do it. Stick with one of the best termite finders on the planet. Lead me to him, Ardwolf. Imagine that, being able to hear termites chewing. The ears. Oh, if only I could hear termites cutting grass like she can. Jackpot! You just can't hide from the hearing power of the Ardwolf. Oh, then the tongue comes out. That fat, sticky tongue. It's the Ardwolf's built-in termite collector. Oh, hey, wait a second. Not so fast. One of those might be my friends. Slow down. You're like a machine. I know you can eat thousands in one sitting, but I can't keep up. Aviva! Koki! Aviva! Koki! If you see a couple that look like little people, just don't eat them, okay? Termite overload! Are we there yet? <laughs> all right already! You don't have to be so rough about it. Koki, look! What are they doing? I read about this during the food web challenge that we did. They grow a special fungus on the grass. That fungus helps break down the plant so that when the termites eat it, they get more energy. Whoa, so this is like a kitchen where they make the food for the whole colony. <gasps> Ew, no, I told you I'm not a piece of grass. Looks kind of pretty. Yeah, thanks. Okay, we have no idea where we are, no way to call for help, so there's only one thing to do. Make fungus hats? Hmm? No, we've got to find a way out of here. First, let's get this grass smell off of us so we don't get carried right back to the grass kitchens. Come on! I hope those creature bros are looking for us because I'm no termite expert. Who knows what's down these tunnels? It's amazing how wild turkeys have made such a comeback. 200 years ago, they were everywhere. One of the most plentiful birds in all of North America. And then when the Europeans arrived, they kept hunting the wild turkeys until by 1930, there were hardly any left. But then they were protected. And now they're making a comeback and are starting to show up in the country, backyards and parks. Where do you want me to park? Oh, there's good. All right, got the mobile invention kit. This will be the most challenging creature power suit yet. Trying to program. <laughs> Turkey powers. It's hard to say that with a straight face. We're here. We made it. We'll show you where the turkeys are. This way. All right. Hey, wait for me. <gasps> you weren't kidding. You guys nailed it. Way to go. How do you know they're wild turkeys and not just farm turkeys that got loose? Well, it can be hard to tell, but wild turkeys tend to be a lot leaner and lighter. And the dead giveaway is that farm turkeys can't get off the ground. But wild turkeys can fly. There is no way those big birds can fly. <gasps> coyote! Oh, they know what that coyote wants to do. Yeah, exactly. Gobble you up. See, wild turkeys are smart, too. And they even speak English. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> We're not buying it. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, gobble, oh. <laughs> Turkey stampede! Ah, they're not going to get off the ground. Oh, yes, they are. Duck! 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 
Turkeys! Whoa! Okay, I'm buying it. Wild turkeys do fly. <laughs> Woo! Oh, and by the way, coyotes aren't really dangerous to people, regardless of how the news media likes to portray them. But that's a whole other adventure. Look at that poult! That's what you call a baby turkey. A poult! Oh, he's lightning fast for a little guy. He's so cute! I've been hit by a poult of lightning. <gasps> and that's it! Your name's Lightning Poult! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just lightning would be better. Yeah, you're right. Lightning it is.